Hey guys, this is Ken from Mahalo.com, and in this video, I'm fulfilling a request. I got an email from John asking me about additional title customization features, and that's what I'm going to cover. So I hope you and anyone who else uses iMovie finds this helpful. And just like John, if you have a request, send that to request at Mahalo.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Well, first off, I'd like to thank John for your request, and I'm very happy to fulfill the request at my best knowledge. Now, the thing about iMovie is they have standard presets, and you really can't change it or put the text where you want, but with some manipulation, you can get the text where you want it in your film. And from what I've learned in iMovie, the best text to go is in centered. So he sent me this little example, and I'll sh and we'll go ahead and see if this will fit. So before this happened, Sasha had gotten into a fight. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really fit into too many of the different uh, presets we had. So what I did is I manipulated the centered text, and I'll show you how I did that. So we're gonna just go ahead and delete this. So we're going to take the center text and just drag it anywhere onto our time. Well, not anywhere into our timeline. We can drag it before any scene. So let's say this happens, you know, you have a cut. So you want to make sure what you do is have a cut and you put it in between. So you saw that line right there. So we're going to put this in between that line. So that means it's going to appear in between those cuts and it's going to make a background. So I'm pretty sure that's what you were looking for right there so we have right here so this is just an example so we have this and then we have this cut and we go to there so we want to change our text so let's come in here click on this icon and if you see my other tutorial let's hit command T and we have some options there if we want more options we can go to the system font panel and we have access to all our fonts that we have in our standard Macintosh computers. So let's go back to iMovie font panel for this example, a lot easier to use. And from there, we can come here and we can turn italics off. We can turn off the outline and then we have different alignment right here. And then from there, and we'll hit done. So already we have our text in a different location that is not available with our preset titles and then I can hit return and you can see I have it on the top right corner right here I can come over here and hit return a few more times and I have access to add text and then from there I can kind of hit delete so that's one option right there I can use that just like in a text editor let's hit command T and see I have it aligned to the right well, I can go back to normal, and then from there, you know, I can hit return a few times and come here and hit delete. You're just going to have to play around with the options a little bit to kind of get the text where you want it on the screen. So we can have it at the top corner. We can just go ahead and delete this, and then from there we can, you know, hit return, make it higher. We can hit spacebar. We can come back here, hit delete, and just kind of move our text around. See, I'm just hitting the, the delete key and just moving the text to where I want. So I think that's what you're going to have to do if you want to get your text in a different area that is different from the iMovie presets. So with those options, so let's go ahead and remember. The best one we want to use is center because we have the most options for text and changing our text. Then we have the most options of moving it around. So, with, and another way we can move it around, remember, let's hit Command T, and we have these different um, alignments. And that should help you maybe get your text where you want it. And we have this, so like, when, whenever we put, um, so when, whenever we drop some text in between a cut, we have a background. So we'll try blue, just as an example. We have that right there. Let's hit Command Z. And whenever we have some text and we drop it on top of our film, it puts it over our film. And I'm going to give you one last tip. We can drag this icon right here and extend our text so we can have it. So let's say you wanted the text to run into your film as well. There you go. Or if you didn't, all we have to do is just move this text back to the, back to the background. 
And if you wanted to change the duration, we'll double click our clip and we can go ahead and change that to however long you want. If you want that on screen for two seconds. Now a good rule of thumb that we use here, whenever we have some text on our screen, we want to make sure you can read it twice. So make sure you read it twice and however long that took you, you can just set that for the duration. Well, John, I'd definitely like to thank you for watching our films and sending your request to me and the Mahalo crew. And if you have any more requests, go ahead and send them to request at mahalo.com. Anyone who has an iMovie request or iLife request, send those in. All right. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day.